A look inside Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. Behold the green and gold. Norfolk State back in the NCAA tournament for the second straight year. But the Spartans aren't interested in just playing a game. They're hoping to make history when facing defending national champion Baylor tomorrow. Hey, survive and advance. That's the name of the game. I'm Nathan Epstein. Welcome to the Sports Wrap. 16 seed NSU is a 21 point underdog against the Bears, who were named a number one seed even after losing in the quarterfinal round of the Big 12 tournament to Oklahoma last Thursday. It's a tall task for Norfolk State, but one the Spartans aren't backing down from. Our sports director, Craig Loper, is with the Spartans in Fort Worth and joins us with a look ahead to tomorrow's matchup. You know, when it comes to this game against Baylor tomorrow afternoon, this is a Spartans team that wants to show the country that they can compete with anyone, even a top seed like Baylor. It's going to take everything this Spartan team had. But speaking with the guys before practice today, their message was clear. They're here to play. They are not here to get rolled over like a typical 16 seed. I mean, that's not in our DNA. That's not in my DNA. That's not in the coach's DNA. It's not in the player's DNA. You know, we're not just here just to play. We're playing for a national championship, too, and that's the way we, we see it. You know, we're not that we have a winning culture, and, and I mean, we win. You know, so we don't know anything else about coming here just for show. Like, this is cute and everything like that, but we came to play a basketball game, try to win a basketball game. They're tall, they're athletic. I've played against many people like that, so I'm not really expecting anything different. I'm just ready to play on Thursday. Oh, how many just play hard? Um, we play hard as well, so, you know, just keeping that up. Um, like you said, we're comfortable now. We play a lot of high majors so far. Um, we just got to, if, if we come mentally locked in, mentally ready, uh, stick to the game plan like that coach gives us, then we should be good. After the tournament, we, we celebrated for that night. The next day, we, we got ready and prepared for practice. We prepared for this moment right here. In terms of any sort of game plan, head coach Robert Jones referred back to the 2012 season when Norfolk State as a 15 seed took down second seeded Missouri. He said a lot of times bigger schools expect smaller schools to go into these games and slow the pace down. He said that's not the case. You have to play how you've played all season to get there and they want to play fast. They want to be physical and they want to put the ball in the hoop as many times as possible. They certainly have no intentions on slowing down. And joining us from Fort Worth is Craig Loper. Craig, headman Robert Jones has made no bones about it. He was not happy. In fact, he said he felt pretty disrespected when his team was named the 16 seed for the second straight year. Uh, you've been at practice today. What type of energy did you notice from the team today? Yeah, incredible energy start to finish. It was about a 45 minute walk through. They brought the band here, so I think that helped. But overall, these guys were juiced and excited to be in this arena. Joe Bryant was kind of leading that charge. Him and Christian Ings dancing on the floor and then Dana Tate Jr. He was walking off the floor singing some a song. I don't know what it was, but incredibly energetic. And I think the practice was symbolic of that. They actually had a dunk contest and a half court shooting contest. So that goes to show you they're here having a good time, but also very serious as well. And I'm sure it's not hard to dance when you got that Norfolk State band right behind you. It's good to see them having fun as well. The stat line for 16 seeds versus ones, I, I know we're kind of getting repetitive with this, 135 and one. That one loss coming in 2018 when UMBC beat Virginia. Now, I asked the team about it on Selection Sunday, but they really didn't know much about Baylor at that point. What sense do you get about how confident this group is that they can be the second 16 ever to do it? Yeah, Nathan, it's a great question, and I think the answer is this group is not going to lack confidence. They're, they're very confident in that regard. They're not cocky by any means. They're not coming here. They know the history. They know the stat line. They know 16 versus 1 has only ever happened one time in NCAA history. But regardless of that, I think the main thing they're focused on is just getting into this game and competing. In his press conference today, Robert Jones said they know the history, but they're not just uh, coming to the uh, symbolic or metaphoric, I should say, slaughterhouse, so to speak. He said, we're here to play and he goes the result will be the result but we're going to play and give everything they have out there on the floor tomorrow against Baylor. What has the team said is their biggest concern when it comes to the Bears? Yeah, Coach Jones talked about that. It, it's their length and athleticism on defense. This is a defensive Baylor Bears team. Their guard play, not as good as last year's national championship team, but athletically, length and defensively, that's going to cause them problems. He was talking about some of their height, but he said, you know, guys like Chris Banks and Dana Tate, they got some height too, and he really said they're going to rely on Banks as the man in the middle to alter some shots, but that length and athleticism as a Power 5 school, Big 12 school, and the defending national champions, that is going to be the main concern 
important for Norfolk State tomorrow, especially when they're on offense. Hey, Craig, thanks for all the hard work today. Hopefully this time tomorrow we're going to be talking about the greatest upset in tournament history, certainly the greatest in uh, Spartan history. So, Craig, we appreciate it. Thanks, Nathan.